So here's our Jane who's in desperate need of some texturing. In the last video we did the eyes, now we're going to address the head. I'm going to select the head and I want my UV texture editor back. There's no shortcut to get the UV texture editor, so I tend to click on the shortcut with the outliner in it and then select Panels UV Texture Editor. So I got him side by side. So there's Jane, and this is the texture she's got right now, which is pretty crappy. So we'll do a new one. We'll start off with a cylindrical projection. That tends to be a good one for the head. You're basically wrapping a photograph around the head. From the polygon menu, we're going to select Create UVs, and we're going to do a cylindrical mapping. Now, by default, if I hit A in this window, you'll see that it's way wider than the image. The cylindrical mapping, by default, does not wrap around fully. It only takes the front 180 degrees. So we'll have to grab this red thingy and drag it all the way to the back. In the attribute editor you can actually see that the horizontal projection sweep is now 360. By default it is 180. And now you see it almost fits within the image plane, the 0 to 1 UV area. Now there's some stuff sticking out here and we need to get this to also be within the image plane. We can do that by switching to UVs and we can now select the UV at the edge and by hitting W for move we can move it around. Now you see something funny happening there. As I pull it up this rounded line started appearing, this curve. That's not what you would expect if you edit polygons. The reason for this is, I'm going to control Z to get it back to the original position, is that we're looking at a subdivided model. If we take our model and we go back to object mode, let's zoom in on it a bit, hit the one key, it will unsubdivide the model. It's subdivided, unsubdivided. Now if we look at the UVs and we do the same thing we did just then, switching to UV uh, coordinate selection and selecting that uh, UV. Now if we put it up, that weird rounded line is no longer appearing. Now where should this one go? How do you find that out? It should go somewhere up here. That's pretty clear. But where exactly? Well, we have a little trick. We go into the 3D view and you can find the point there, oops, just went through the hand, and select it in there. We're also selecting UVs right now. Unfortunately, it also selects stuff on the other side, so let's control, drag that one to unselect. So you see, these two should actually be uh, together. That's the same point. So we can grab this one, and then while holding down the V, for snap to point, we can drag it boink, onto the right point. And we can do the same with the next few points, which basically just have to fill in this gap over here. So let's snap this one. Let go, hit V, and pull and snap. So now the thingy sticking out has been fixed. Next, we need to neatly fit all the UVs within this square. So we need to straighten out the edges. So still in UV mode, let's select all the points on this edge and hit the Maximize U value button and they will nicely uh, straighten out. I'm going to do the same on this side, although getting them is a little a bit more tricky. So I missed one up there, so I'm going to shift and add that one to the selection and minimize the U value for these. I missed one. 
So let's add that one to the selection and hit that again. Now the top is a little bit more tricky. You'll just have to manually figure out where, which ones belong on the edge. So I can just start pulling them up a bit. So you see there's one over there, there's one over there. And these three are the only ones that actually need to be in a straight line on the top. So I'll maximize the, U, the V value for these, making them straight. And if I want, I could be neat and also straighten out the bottom. So we straighten it out. We actually want to bring these down a bit, like this. We straighten them out, but they are still sticking out. So to make sure they fit within the 0 to 1 UV space, we select all the UV coordinates, all the points, and we go to Polygons, Normalize. And that will make sure all the points are now within a 0 to 1 range, uh, UV coordinates. So we got to basically flatten out. Now the next step is to start untangling the uh, overlapping polygons. 